Dinosaurs. The terrible lizards. They mysteriously died out 65 million years ago. What did they? That's what the African natives call it. Now, I don't know about a dinosaur living in the city, but I know in the Congo Basin, they say there's something incredibly strange and large out there. They call it Mokali Membi. That means a creature that can block the flow of rivers. They're explorers in the area. Hope they have better luck than me. This footage that survived the dark and steamy swamps of the Congo was taken by American explorer Herman Regusters during his first expedition in search of a live dinosaur. What he claims to have found raised more than a few eyebrows. Surviving wasn't easy. For six weeks we lived on tree roots. There was no dry ground. And in swamp areas it sometimes exceeded the depth of our height. And uh, that's what we lived in. And we lived off the jungle animals. Uh, we survived from the land. Giant footprints of this mysterious creature were found back in 1776. And legend has it that natives killed and devoured several of the monsters. Natives who had seen it before uh, assured us that it was the animal they call Mokili Membi, uh, which looks very much like a sauropod dinosaur. And we estimated the overall length of the animal that we saw it to be somewhere around 35 feet. This is the photograph for Goosters took of the animal. And this is the noise it made that sound experts cannot identify. I don't know. I mean, we'd all like to believe that maybe one lone dinosaur survived these millions of years, but I gotta see it to believe it. But luckily, there is one way for us dinosaur lovers to enjoy the world of dinosaurs, and that's the movies. But like these scenes from Baby, Secret of the Lost Legend, where explorers actually find a living dinosaur in deepest, darkest Africa. Filmmakers have always been intrigued in finding ways to bring dinosaurs to life on the screen. For Baby, almost full-size hydraulic-powered models of the dinosaurs were made in a warehouse in Los Angeles. Then, instead of using rear projection or miniatures, the working models were actually taken to the Ivory Coast in Africa. Then the stars were given a little last-minute attention, the cameras rolled, and the legend of living dinosaurs was brought to life. Now, Baby is just one of the most recent dinosaur movies. Over the years, dinosaur films have always had box office appeal. The first feature film about dinosaurs was The Lost World. It tells of a group of explorers that find an isolated plateau in Brazil that evolution had passed by. The story was written by Sherlock Holmes creator Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. And if this footage seems a little prehistoric, it's because these are scenes from the classic 1925 version. It is through the use of the special effects technique called stop motion animation that small models of the dinosaurs appear to move on the screen. The process was developed by effects pioneer Willis O'Brien, who eight years later would bring King Kong to life. The film was a sensation, 
and movie audiences felt that they were experiencing something as amazing as the characters on the screen. In the darkness of the movie theater, we could now experience the wonders and horrors of a time gone by. a fantasy film standard. In this version of the lost world, a giant brontosaurus is brought back to civilization, only to break loose and destroy London. Unlike most other films, the dinosaur manages to escape when the London Bridge collapses. Going back even earlier to the year 1912, cartoonist Windsor McKay created what was to become the first classic cartoon character. And of course, it was a dinosaur. Her name is Gertie, a lovable and very hungry brontosaurus. are great, but they're not necessarily the best way to learn about dinosaurs. To do that, you should study them scientifically, and that can be just as fascinating. Well, take these plants, for example. They're called cycads, and they're prehistoric. They were around millions and millions of years ago, just like the dinosaurs, and it's very possible that this guy's great, 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 great grandfather was nibbled on by a triceratops. You know, recently, I went to a paleontologist convention in Berkeley to find out more about these terrible lizards. The media, specifically movies and television, yeah. sent, uh, spread myths and misconceptions. Yeah. What are the big misconceptions about dinosaurs that you'd like to clear up right now? Well, of course, uh, various. One, one is that dinosaurs and men were contemporaneous. Not and true. No, it's not true. They're separated by about 60 million years. That is, the last dinosaurs became extinct about 60 million years before the first men appeared. So when Something I see a caveman yeah. chasing with a club a Tyrannosaurus, that's not going to happen. No, that's, that's a nice fairy tale or myth. Anything else? Well, of course, the movies are apt to make the dinosaurs bigger and more ferocious than they were. Were they docile? A lot of them probably were. Uh, the, big, uh, the big brontosaurus, as we call them, the big gigantic dinosaurs that were herbivorous were probably very docile, just as big grazing animals nowadays are docile. Another advantage of being big is that you, um, you can be sure of yourself. And while we're on the subject of how dinosaurs are portrayed in films, now we've seen motion pictures where mommy and daddy dinosaur take very good care of their children. Even Godzilla was a proud parent, you know that. And you're probably saying, that's pure Hollywood fantasy, right? Well, maybe not. Some scientists believe that Hollywood may not have been that far off. This dinosaur nest was found in Mongolia, but the recent discovery of a nest site in Montana suggests that these Mesozoic monsters were raised and nurtured by their parents. Fossils of various sizes found together from babies to adults indicate that dinosaurs remain together as family units. There is real good evidence that dinosaurs herded, and this was almost ignored until just very recently, but it's a funny thing. Back in the 1930s, a bunch of big brontosaur trackways were found in Texas, whole herds moving 
and their, and their, their footprints are preserved. And it was published and it was pretty well known, but everybody ignored it. There's just no doubt that these animals moved in herds. When they were protecting the young, the young were ten tended to be towards the center. It seems the original perception of the lone, cold-blooded dinosaur was wrong. They were a much more complex animal.